Good morning. I'm chewing gum because I had tea this morning and it, my breath tasted weird. And I've got this itch that won't go away in my nose. Um, might be a sign I need to trim my nose hair. Ooh, it's gross. It's Hat Thursday. Hey. Um, that's a little too low. It's not quite, uh, not quite where I needed that. Um, so, I need to shave. See this extreme close up? I need to shave, man. I didn't have time this morning because I slept. I needed to sleep in because I was stupid and I was watching Netflix last night. Um, they put some Russell Peters uh, comedy up there, and I love me some Russell Peters. He is hilarious. He drops the F bomb a lot and he talks about some stuff that I don't necessarily like, but man, I love his commentary on different cultures. Uh, and different people groups. Um, I'm not gonna say races because I'm like, we're all the same. We're all the human race. We're not. I mean, I don't understand what people say when they say races. Anyway, um, so I was I was tired when I slept in. Um, good news on the Star Wars front. I got my Wookie. Yeah, I did it all for the Wookie. That is a it's an old and um, somewhat dated joke. And if you got it, then I'm sorry. Um, one of my uh, guildmates helped me get it. Um, essentially what I did, you're not supposed to really get your Wookiee until you're about 24th level. That's assuming that you're soloing. Um, but I chose not to solo. One of my guildmates offered to uh, help me run the class quest for the smuggler all the way to basically its end um, where you get the Wookiee. And so at level 18, a whole six levels early, I got my Wookiee. And it is awesome. Because what's a smuggler without a Wookiee? And I got this, I completed a different uh, a different quest, and I got this um, hat, headgear, helmet thing. <laughs> it looks like something out of Blade Runner. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, the look I'm going for for the gunslinger is sort of space cowboy. So, um, I'm all kinds of inspired this morning. There's all kinds of stuff that I want to do. You know that you're really inspired um, if you listen to something and, or see something or read something and you go... I, I think I could do that, or I think I could do that better. Um, and so every time I listen to an audio book, I sort of listen for different things. And if they have multiple voice actors, I'll listen and go, hmm, I don't know if that's necessarily the best choice for that voice. So I'm really inspired for that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also, I've also been thinking a lot about my office mate. And a lot of people know that um, she kind of drives me crazy. But um, I've also been thinking slash praying for her, about her, um, and it's kind of changed my attitude. Um, she doesn't have a great life, I don't think. Um, she's divorced. She has two teenage sons, both of whom have some learning disabilities. Um, and just listening to her talk, I, mean, I kind of feel bad about it, but there's a couple things that I'm listening to her. I'm like, why are you doing this? For example, she took away her uh, teen's um, monitor cable so that they couldn't play on their um, play on their PCs until they got their homework done. She hid the, the cable, and then when her kid called and said that he was done with his homework and she kind of checked in with him, she let him have the computer cable. She told him where it was hidden, and I was like, why? Why would you, why would you do that? Like, just, he has to wait. Yeah, cool. His homework's done. Awesome. Go when you get home, check, and then give him his computer cable. Don't tell him where you hide it, because you're gonna run out of hiding spots eventually. Um, I don't know. It's it's not my place to talk to her about it. If she was a good friend, and she was asking me for advice, um, even if she asks me for advice without being a good friend, I would probably, you know, I would be honest and I would tell her. Well, I wouldn't necessarily have done that, um, but it's not my place to speak up like that. And it's, you know, there's, there's people in life who seem like everybody knows somebody. I think I mentioned this in another video, but everybody seems to know somebody where the, the, something wrong happens to them all the time. Like something bad is continuously happening and, and you, you are around them and you don't want to be around them because every single time you talk to them, it's always drama and catastrophe. And that, you know, it doesn't, I don't know, it sort of seems like she's that way. And when you get battered by the world, when you get just beat up, I think sometimes that happens. But I also think that sometimes those people make the choices that get them in those places in the first place. Um, so if you 
like if you get divorced um, and your ex is a no good lazy layabout don't let him come over and just hang out in your house and eat your food and play video games with or without your kids like he should be out on his own getting his own job doing his own stuff not just living on unemployment and doing nothing I mean that's why you divorced in the first place right I mean um, at least that's the way it seems from you know from her description obviously I'm talking about my office mate um, I'm like why 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 did you why would you decide to do that like take a stand for yourself have some boundaries um, so that's kind of what I was thinking about I just feel I feel bad for it and so I partially feel bad and I partially feel like well you just need to have made some different choices so I'm looking at the time on the camera and we're about at six minutes so I'm gonna wrap it up I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing this is the big JB you can find me on Twitter at the big voice sorry blah, 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 at voice of the big JB and I will see everybody tomorrow have an awesome day bye Thank <laughs> you.